Over recent years, um, we've realised that a proportion of men with testicular cancer, non-seminomas, uh, who've had previous treatment can relapse quite late after the treatment. Uh, that's the time, sometime after two years, but me sometimes many years later. And what we've done in this abstract is review the experience we've had at our, at our hospital over the last 15 years. Uh, in that time, we had about 3,000 patients come through our MDT of which 100 had treatment for late relapse, that's about 3% of, of all patients. Uh, and we found that uh, most of those patients were found either by uh, race markers or incidental imaging, and about a third of patients had uh, symptoms. Um, we report on actually what the outcome of those patients are, which generally is fairly favourable. Uh, we found that most, but the best option for treatment is surgical management, um, but we had about 20% of those patients die so, um, of the disease. Um, but we fe so overall, the outcome of these patients is fairly good, with 80% of patients being cured. But it, it, there is an unmet need of patients who aren't, aren't successfully treated. Uh, we looked at the, the various histologies, the management strategies for those, and as I said before, we found that surgery is the most important modality and the best chance of cure is to use surgical treatment as we previously reported. Um, we also found that the average time to relapse was over 10 years, so suggesting that we do need to keep a high vigilance in patients, even the ones we think were cured, uh, by monitoring what happens to those patients in the future. And we need better ways of actually detecting people who may go on to get a later relapse which is a subject of an ongoing uh, protocol that we have running at the moment.